I'm absolutely not going to cooperate with the committee, Charles C. Johnson said in an interview after returning from London, where he had set up a meeting this week between Rep. Dana Rohrabacher, R. California and Assange at the Ecuadorian Embassy. The letter Johnson got from the Senate Intelligence Committee came after a Politico article identified him as one of the figures who was in touch with the late Peter Smith, a wealthy Chicago hedge fund executive, who last year sought to mobilize hackers from around the world, including Russians in a quest to find copies of the 33,000 personal emails that Hillary Clinton had deleted from her personal server. Johnson had told Politico that Smith, with whom he had long been friendly, had asked him last year to put him in touch with then-Trump campaign chief, and later senior White House official, Steve Bannon as well as an independent hacker who he believed he could help obtain the Clinton emails. Johnson maintained he demurred on the Bannon request because he didn't believe Smith's operation was sophisticated enough. The letter Johnson got from the committee asked that he turn over all documents, emails, text messages and any other communications he might have had with Russians or representatives of Russian government, business or media interests. This should include material about any attempt to search for electronic information that may have been stolen or compromised by cyber activity. Johnson called the committee's request a fishing expedition and laughably overbroad, adding, how am I supposed to know who was Russian who I was communicating with? I have a friend who is supermodel who was born in Russia. Does it include her? Aside from the Smith effort relating to the Clinton emails, Johnson could potentially be of even more interest to the committee as a result of the three-hour meeting he arranged this week, and which he attended, between Assange and Rohrabacher, a Republican who has consistently argued for closer ties to Russian President Vladimir Putin's government. Johnson said he and Rohrabacher came back from their meeting with a specific proposal that the congressman intends to present to President Trump soon, grant a preemptive pardon to Assange, who has been under Justice Department investigation for years, although he has never been charged, and the WikiLeaks founder would, in exchange, turn over irrefutable evidence that he didn't get the Democratic National Committee emails from Russia, but from another source. Assange wants to have a deal with the president, Johnson said. He believes he should be pardoned in the same way that Chelsea Manning was pardoned. Once Assange turns his evidence over, showing the Russians were not the source of the DNC emails, then the president could put the kibosh on the whole Russia investigation being conducted by special counsel Robert Mueller. Johnson declined to say what Assange's supposed evidence actually is, though he did say it did not include any documents. But he insisted he has spoken to unidentified figures in the White House who have told him the president wants to hear the proposal. I know the president is interested in this, he said. There will be a meeting between Rep. Rohrabacher and President Trump. A spokesman for Rohrabacher declined to comment other than to confirm that Johnson had arranged the meeting between the congressman and Assange. A White House official with knowledge of the Russia probe, and who asked not to be identified by name, said he was unfamiliar with the request for a meeting.